Hey, okay, one more thing here about transcription factors for today. So basically we'll talk about transcription factors, just in general. What we mean by transcription factors, guys. This is, let's make this the whole, this is the cell. I know it's crazy rectangular shape, but you know, let's make this is the cell. And inside the cell, basically you have this, organelles let's make it as nucleus okay all of this is just a nucleus so this is a nucleus okay and this is the cell and, 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 the, and the part of this inside the cell usually it is cytoplasm now what are the transcription factors guys transcription factors are what proteins so let's make this a protein looks like maybe this okay Let's increase it in size and try to fill it with pinkish in color. So basically, this is the protein, and I will name this a protein is steroid receptor. Okay, so this is just basically, guys, a protein. Just and this types of protein is just a steroid receptor. Now, what other types of proteins that also also likes of transcription factors let's make another protein maybe looks like this and we will call this a protein CR and also fill it with a green and we will call this a protein is CREB protein okay CREB protein and the first one is a steroid receptor don't forget the protein so far you have a steroid receptor protein and you have another protein called Basically, this is cyclic AMP response element binding protein. Again, this is cyclic AMP response element binding protein. So, so far you have two. And let's say another types of a protein here, whatever the protein usually looks like. You don't need to know exactly how the protein looks like. Let's say it's, let's make me, let I make it like this. By, by the way, the shapes and structures are not accurate. Uh, I don't know, I just put it, I just draw it like this. So let's make this a protein is peroxisome proliferating activating receptors, PPARARS. So far you have three types of a protein. And these are basically the most important types of protein, guys, you need to know. Now, how this works is easy. This is steroid receptor. Let's say this is the steroid hormone. Okay, so this is basically the circle is a steroid hormone. Now this is steroid hormone, it is lipid soluble. So the receptors of a steroid hormone where in the cytoplasm. Now the steroid goes to the cytoplasm and bind to the steroid receptor protein. So this circle represents the steroid hormone while the blue this like a smile shape called the steroid receptor. This is a protein for a steroid hormone and another thing here let's say this is a glucagon and the glucagon receptor we'll talk about this usually it is cell membrane receptors and after cell membrane receptors you have a kind of activation and finally you will activate cyclic response element binding protein so protein and finally here maybe fibrate fibrate usually works uh, or fibrate fibrate yeah a kind of drugs anti-triglyceride drugs and uh, thiozil I hope I can write it I can write it right thiozildindiones so basically you have anti-diabetic agent which is thiozildindiones and fibrate these are working here on peroxisome proliferating activating receptors so far guys you have three types again of receptors the first one is a steroid receptor protein which are basic receptors for steroid hormone the second one CREB protein which are basically receptors or it is a kind of second messengers for glucagon and finally you have PPARs all of these all of these work work where here is my DNA 
it's a kind of details I will explain the details in the next in the next video but here let's say here is my DNA so basically now the steroid receptor with the steroid hormone just goes and bind to the DNA so you will see here the steroid receptor and the steroid hormone and also you will see another things which is basically cytokine response element binding protein and finally perogismar proliferating activating receptors binding to the DNA so what is the issue here all of them binding to the DNA that's why guys if you remember yesterday I said this category the one that I just encircle are what transcription factors or DNA binding proteins right so they are proteins they are pro and they are the only proteins that bind to DNA. Other proteins that you have usually they are either cytoplasmic protein, plasma membrane protein, or lysosomal protein. Now, these are the only proteins that binding that goes inside the nucleus and bind to the DNA. And bind to the DNA. Now, how many receptors so far? Or how many proteins so far? Again, steroid receptor protein bind to the DNA. C R E B protein bind to the DNA. PPARS protein bind to the DNA. Now, maybe I can say this steroid receptor protein is a kind of zinc finger family. PPARS protein also zinc finger family. Uh, while CREB basically it's a leucine, leucine zipper family. Guys, don't be confused because sometimes people confuse what is the zinc, zinc finger receptor, what is steroid receptor. It is the same name. I mean, it is the same term but different names. So, zinc finger family, one of the zinc finger family is basically steroid receptor protein or PA, PPARS protein. One of the leucine zipper family is just CREB protein. Now, this zinc finger goes again to the DNA. Leucine zipper goes and bind to the DNA, zinc goes and bind to the DNA.